hi guys hope you're all doing well welcome back to our channel and in this video we are going to talk about enrollment failure logs script now if you're watching this video i already assume that you have seen that particular video wherein we have discussed about enrollment restriction for windows device and there is a script that i have covered in that particular video now in this particular video we are going to discuss what exactly i have done to make that script work what are the permissions required why it is required and which endpoint you have to reach so now i'm going to switch to my visual studio code where i have written this particular script and i'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process of what exactly happens and how this script give you the results that you're looking for okay so the very first thing this is something which i have highlighted in our video as well this, these are the two permissions that you have to grant. If any of these permissions will not be available, the script is not going to work. Okay. And this is something which we are typically using in every script that we write. And that is asking the user to enter their tenant name. Now, the purpose behind this particular step is to cover the endpoints or to know the endpoints where the authentication request has to be sent. Now, once we go to this well-known configuration of a specific tenant, we'll come to know the token endpoint as well as authorized endpoint. Now, this section is the section where I'm defining the body of the first request that I'm sending to get the access token. Okay, and this is a typical example of any request that, ha that, that has to be sent, in fact, to get the access token. Okay. Now, once we have the token, everything will work fine. But let's say the token is not being sent by Azure AD just because any of these components were missing from the body object that you have created. In this case, your script will exit and you'll get a message. There must be some parameter missing in the body object. Now, once the token has been acquired successfully, you'll get two options wherein you have to choose that whether you want to query the errors for all the users in your enterprise or you want to query the error for a specific user once you have selected that then you'll get the required results now let's say you choose one now this is the endpoint that you have to reach for querying all the events that are occurring for a specific enterprise but the fact is that if you have to query for a specific user then you have to go ahead and firstly check the object ID of that particular user so that's the reason at this particular section I say specify the respective user for which you want to query the logs and at this particular section the script is actually querying the object ID of the user then that particular object ID is embedded in this particular request where I'm trying to query the device management troubleshooting events this is a related object to our user entity and that's it you will get the errors and the fact is that if you choose a specific user then the last enrollment failure will be listed and as you can see I'm querying the first entry in the entire result that I'm getting from this particular script so this was all about knowing how I have written this particular script if you guys have any question please feel free to ask in the comment section and it's not only about this script if you have any question within the scope of this entire channel or any video please feel free to ask that in the comment section thank you so much thanks for your time bye bye